Have you ever pondered over the unsolved problems in mathematics, the mysteries that continue to baffle the greatest minds? Mathematics is a field of endless intrigue, filled with conundrums that have challenged the most brilliant brains for centuries. Among these enigmas stands the Birch and Swinnerton Dyer conjecture, an unsolved problem that has intrigued mathematicians for decades. In the realm of number theory, a subfield of mathematics that deals with the properties and relationships of numbers, the Birch and Swinnerton Dyer conjecture is a titan. Named after British mathematicians Brian Birch and Peter Swinnerton Dyer, this conjecture has become a significant focus in this field, posing a unique challenge and sparking countless hours of study and research. So, what is the Birch and Swinnerton Dyer conjecture all about? It's all about elliptic curves, mathematical objects defined by equations of the form y2 equals x3 plus ax plus b, where a and b are constants. These curves are not just mere figures, they carry profound properties that make them a subject of intense study for mathematicians, but the conjecture takes it a step further. It suggests a fascinating relationship between the number of rational points on an elliptic curve and the behavior of its associated L-series. To put it simply, it's about how the features of these mathematical objects can give us insights into the world of prime numbers. This conjecture is not just a theoretical puzzle, it has practical implications too. It plays a role in fields like cryptography, influencing the security of our online transactions and communications. And yet, despite its significance, the Birch and Swinnerton Dyer conjecture remains unsolved. It's one of the seven Millennium Prize problems that the Clay Mathematics Institute has placed a hefty bounty on for a successful resolution. As the enigma of unsolved mathematics continues to perplex us, the Birch and Swinnerton Dyer conjecture stands tall, a beacon of intrigue in the world of number theory. So what exactly is this Birch and Swinnerton Dyer conjecture and why is it so important? At the heart of the Birch and Swinnerton Dyer conjecture lies an intriguing mathematical object, the elliptic curve. Elliptic curves, despite their name, are not elliptical at all. They are a class of mathematical objects that are defined by a specific type of equation, namely, y squared equals x cubed plus a times x plus b, where a and b are constants. Picture a smooth, looping curve, like a ribbon gracefully arcing through a three-dimensional space. What makes elliptic curves so fascinating to mathematicians? Well, for one, they possess an inherent elegance that is deeply rooted in their simplicity. But their true value extends far beyond their aesthetic appeal. These curves have a profound connection to number theory, and they possess intriguing properties that make them a hotbed for mathematical exploration. One such property is the way they interact with rational points. A rational point, for those unfamiliar, is a point on the curve where both the x and the y coordinates are rational numbers. That is, they can be expressed as a ratio of two integers. Elliptic curves have the remarkable property that if you take two rational points on the curve and add them together, following a certain geometric process, you will get another rational point. This ability to add points on the curve gives rise to a kind of arithmetic, making elliptic curves a rich playground for mathematicians. But why does any of this matter? Well, these curves and their properties have significant implications in various fields, such as cryptography, where they are used to create secure communication systems. The behavior of these curves also ties in with prime numbers, another mystery of mathematics that has captivated minds for centuries. Now that we've got a grasp on elliptic curves, let's delve into the conjecture itself. The Birch and Swinnerton Dyer conjecture, named after the mathematicians who first proposed it, explores a fascinating relationship between these curves and the prime numbers. But that's a tale for the next scene. The Birch and Swinnerton Dyer conjecture, in essence, predicts a relationship between the rational points on an elliptic curve and the behavior of its associated L-series. Now what does that mean exactly? Well, let's delve a little deeper. In mathematics, a rational point on an elliptic curve is a point whose coordinates are both rational numbers, meaning they can be expressed as a ratio of two integers. The conjecture suggests that the behavior of the L-series, a complex mathematical function associated with the elliptic curve, can tell us something about these rational points. Specifically, it focuses on the behavior of the L-series at a particular point, known as S equals 1. According to the conjecture, if the value of the L-series at S equals 1 is non-zero, it implies that the elliptic curve has an infinite number of rational points. On the other hand, if the L-series vanishes or becomes zero, 
at s equals 1, it suggests that the elliptic curve has only a finite number of rational points. What's fascinating about this conjecture is that it provides a bridge between two seemingly unrelated areas of mathematics, elliptic curves and prime numbers, and it doesn't stop there. The implications of this conjecture extend beyond the realm of theoretical mathematics. It has significant applications in practical areas such as cryptography, the art of writing and solving codes. The security of many cryptographic systems we use today relies heavily on the properties of elliptic curves. So, to put it in a nutshell, this conjecture is a bit like a mathematical fortune teller. It uses the behavior of the L-series at a specific point to predict the number of rational points on an elliptic curve. And its resolution could have far-reaching implications, not just for the world of mathematics, but also for the security of our digital communications. So, in layman's terms, this conjecture can affect everything from theoretical mathematics to cryptography security. But has anyone solved it yet? Despite its significance, the Birch and Swinnerton Dyer conjecture remains unsolved. This mathematical riddle, which hinges on the behavior of elliptic curves and their association with prime numbers, continues to keep the mathematical community on its toes. The conjecture, named after the British mathematicians Brian Birch and Peter Swinnerton Dyer, has been a subject of intense scrutiny and study for decades. Yet, a comprehensive proof or counterexample evades mathematicians to this day. The conjecture's complexity and the depth of understanding it requires make it a challenging nut to crack. The conjecture's unsolved status has led to its inclusion in the coveted Millennium Prize problems. These are seven problems in mathematics that the Clay Mathematics Institute deems exceptionally significant. The Institute has staked a substantial monetary prize for the successful resolution of each of these problems. The Birch and Swinnerton Dyer conjecture is one of these distinguished seven, a testament to its importance in the field of mathematics. Interestingly, it's not just about the fame or the monetary reward. The pursuit of the solution is a journey of discovery, exploration, and understanding. Each step towards the solution uncovers new aspects of mathematics and its intricate workings. Every failed attempt sharpens the tools of the mathematician, pushing the boundaries of what is known and understood. Despite the lack of a complete proof or counterexample, significant progress has been made in specific cases. Mathematicians have formulated related theorems and conjectures, inching closer to a comprehensive understanding of the conjecture. These incremental advancements have not only deepened our understanding of the conjecture, but also opened up exciting new avenues in the field of mathematics. The pursuit of a solution continues to be a fascinating journey, with each step bringing us closer to understanding the mysteries of mathematics. The Birch and Swinnerton Dyer conjecture, with its tantalizing promise of deeper insights into elliptic curves and prime numbers, continues to be a beacon for mathematicians around the world. As we continue to grapple with this conjecture, what lies ahead for the world of mathematics? As we journey into the future, the resolution of the Birch and Swinnerton Dyer conjecture looms as a monumental milestone in the progress of mathematical understanding. The conjecture's resolution holds the potential to revolutionize our understanding of elliptic curves and the distribution of prime numbers. This is no minor matter. These areas of mathematics are fundamental to numerous other fields and applications. They underpin cryptography, providing the backbone for the security of our digital world. A deeper understanding of these could lead to more robust cryptographic systems, enhancing security in an increasingly digital age. Further, the conjecture's resolution could unearth new mathematical terrain, opening up unexplored avenues in the vast landscape of mathematics. It could lead to the discovery of new mathematical objects, new relationships, and new patterns, it may even reveal deeper layers of symmetry and order in the mathematical universe, giving us new tools to understand and model the physical world. The conjecture's resolution could also inspire and invigorate the next generation of mathematicians. It could serve as a beacon, a testament to the power of human curiosity, perseverance, and ingenuity. It could underscore the beauty and mystery of mathematics, drawing more people into its captivating realm. More than anything, the resolution of the Birch and Swinnerton Dyer conjecture would be a triumph of human thought, a testament to our ceaseless quest for knowledge and understanding. It would mark another step in our journey to unravel the mysteries of the universe, a journey that is as old as humanity itself. While the Birch and Swinnerton Dyer conjecture remains a mystery, its eventual resolution promises to deepen and broaden our understanding of the mathematical world. And that is a day we all eagerly await. 
It's a day when we will not only solve a complex mathematical puzzle, but also celebrate the power of human thought, the beauty of mathematics, and the continuing journey of discovery.